Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Dr. Arya's Vlogs. Today, in this lecture, I would like to share some etiologic factors affecting residual ridge resorption. Residual ridge resorption, it is actually a multifactorial biochemical disease and it is caused by various factors or it is a combination of anatomic, metabolic and mechanical determinants. And also there are some prosthetic factors and also iatrogenic factors are there. Anatomic factors. These are more pronounced in mandible than maxilla. It associated more in patients with short and square face with increased masticatory forces and large well-rounded ridges and broad palates are favorable anatomy factors for residual ridge resorption. And these are the various factors that is size and shape of the ridge, type of bone removed, quantity and quality of the bone, spaces between the ridges, muscle attachments, action of tongue. So the residual ridge resorption, it is proportional to the anatomic factors. Of the factors mentioned above, bone is the most important anatomic factor. The contour of the bone, especially in the areas of extraction socket or bone spines, tend to resorb faster. So, the quantity of bone and quality of bone are two important factors of residual ridge resorption. So, the quantity of bone, actually the amount of bone is not a good prognostic measure of rate of residual ridge resorption. This is because the large ridges which may resorb rapidly and some knife edge ridges may remain with little changes for long periods of time. And it is probably safe to say that more bone, more resorption ultimately. Whereas in quality of bone, dense compact bone has decreased resorption, but since metabolic activity constantly changes, hence it is also susceptible. So these are the important anatomic factors for residual ridge resorption. So coming to second factor that is metabolic factors. Residual ridge resorption varies directly with certain systemic or localized bone resorption factors and inversely with certain bone formation factors. So, residual ridge resorption is directly proportional to bone resorption factors by bone formation factors. Okay. So, the bone resorbing factors are the factors causing periodontal disease and heparin. Bone forming factors are circulating estrogen, thyroxine, growth hormone, androgens, calcium, phosphorus, vitamin D, protein and fluoride. So coming to the mechanical factors, here the residual ridge resorption is directly proportional to force by damping effect factors. And the force should be studied in terms of magnitude, frequency, duration, direction and pressure. So what is the magnitude of force? Actually, force is directly proportional to residual ridge resorption. In the maxilla, the average magnitude of force is 12 lbps, but whereas in mandible, it is about 21 lbps. Hence, there is more residual ridge resorption in the mandible. Coming to the force direction and pressure. The direction of force is determined by angulation of bone which is in turn determined by the angulation of teeth. So the maxillary posterior teeth which are buccally tilted. Okay. And so the direction of resorption is inward and upward. Okay. Whereas in the mandibular posterior teeth are lingually tilted and the direction of resorption is downward and outward. Coming to the frequency and duration of the force. The expected force is on the denture. That is less than 15 minutes of tooth contact. It is approximately 11 pounds. 
and 3500 to 4200 lbs loading that is 1500 lbs during empty swallows and the damping effect which takes place in the mucoperiosteum and it is a viscoelastic material the maxillary bone is frequently broader flatter and more cancellous than its mandibular counterpart so the maxillary bone is frequently broader flatter and also it is more cancellous than its mandibular counterpart so it is ideally constructed for the absorption and dissipation of energy frost pointed out that trabeculae in cancellous bone are arranged parallel to the direction of compression deformation so coming to the prosthetic factors increase the occlusal form vertical dimension changes cusp form excessive load by overly fitting dentures finally time that is in addition to the three major categories of factors that is anatomic metabolic and mechanical the importance of time since extraction to the bone loss should be emphasized by adding in an inverse ratio so okay on summary residual to its resorption it is directly proportional to anatomic factors plus bone resorption factors by bone formation factors plus force by damping effect factors plus 1 by time so that is all about the etiologic factors of residual to its resorption in the next section we will continue with the diagnostic aids to detect respiratory resorption thanks for watching stay home stay safe